Hey guys, welcome back to part 29 of Resident Evil. Uh, now, that menu screen that you just saw here and here look significantly different from my other account. That's because I'm on a different account. Because I decided to do this completely chronologically. Uh, so we're going to do uh, both of the Resident Evil 3 sub-scenarios. Uh, one of which would normally come af after the main thing of the game, after the credits. But I thought, let's do it completely chronologically. And that means you have uploaded weapons. Because yes. I just saw that you I've have like. Better weapons. But just for this part and the next. Um, yeah. I must escape this town. Oh well, that's not a bad thing. Nah. It's not like as long as, it shows, yeah, as, long, as long as it shows the storyline, it's fine. Of course. It just makes a lot more sense to do it chronologically. Because, mm -hmm. like, uh, the second sub scenario is so goddamn short. That Fair just enough. going to add it in after the credits. Anyway, this follows Ada Wong. Uh, directly after Resident Evil 2, where she's fallen down a massive shaft. Hence the broken things. Look! A peacock! What? <laughs> uh, what the hell is, What was it? It looked some really weird rat. So Ada's trying to get out of the city before it gets blown up. Uh oh. No. It fires like two shots at once. It's a burst handgun. What the burst? Wow! That's yeah. so cool. Now you start the level with a tiny amount of health, mainly because you've just fallen down a massive shaft thing and your legs are shattered. And is that a new thingy? A new what? A uh, new weapon. Yes. No, not weapon. Sorry. Uh, I mean a new enemy. I think I saw some rats. They weren't enemies. They're just rats that walk around a bit. Now get out your shotgun. Uh, fair enough. Because there are going to be some hunters jumping after you. That's a that new That's a high-powered grenade launcher. Cool. You can only do one shot. Is it worth it? Oh yeah, of course. Die. And you too. Another one's going to jump down from the sewer thing. Here he comes. Yay. And we also picked up a single uh, action. Is it single action? Um. SA shotgun or shotgun SA? Uh, probably, I don't know. Right. It's, it's a shotgun. Know. It's incredibly weaker than the other shotguns, however, it's got a much fire, uh, faster. Oh, uh, the little auto shotgun. No, it's it's got abbreviation SA. Is that oh, shotgun or? auto. <laughs> shotgun, shotgun auto. Exactly. Oh dear. You might want to get out your shotgun again because some doggy wogs have come to play in a minute. Doggy wogs. What kind of dogs? Beagles. No. Sausage just, dogs. You know. Greyhounds. Are you feeling all right this part? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. You're a bit fruity. Fruity? You're saying I'm gay? No. Fruity means a bit, you know, a bit wild. It also means gay. It doesn't mean a bit gay. Does it not? No. no. Fr fruity just means strange, out there. So gay. <laughs> no! <laughs> My god, you have a fruity personality. That's an insult. It does not, it's not a derogatory term for gays. Fair enough. Anyway, moving on. Wow, it's a while since we've seen zombies. Yeah, just normal run of the mill zombies. Why are you using your shotgun? I do now. Mm -hmm. Boom. No, I said, why did you use your shotgun? Because I've got the assault shotgun ammo to spare, and pretty soon it's going to become very redundant. Because I'll be using. Uh, Shotgun SA for a long time. Okay. I think it's a shotgun SA. If it's AAS, it's auto shotgun. Good scene time. Mm, tasty. I have a slightly broken leg. Can I use your toilet? It's no, it's just an old chair. 
How long do you think he was waited? How long do you think he was waiting there? Kind of like going, geez, I want someone to walk through so I can have an awesome kind of telephone conversation with them. And they'll be like, how did you know I was coming in? But actually, I was just waiting for about three months. I know it was talking before she enters the room. She was like, oh, Ada. Fair enough. By giving me a jar <laughs> full of what looks like licorice whips. <laughs> G virus tissue fragment. Or licorice whips. Uh, either way, it's all good. Bleep, bloop, bloop, bloop. That's a one fancy ass suitcase. I know. Um, I, want, I want one. I don't know what it does. I just want one. Now, if you not never played Resident Evil Two, um, this is three, isn't it? No. Oh right, no, no, yeah, no, no. Carry on. No, but right, uh, basically, uh, G virus features in Resident Evil Two. It's basically a much deadlier version of the T virus. So instead of turning people to zombies, it turns them into really dodgy monster things. Hmm. Okay. The G virus. Yes. So, when the T virus was like. This is what uh, happened. The T virus got out. So, what the hell would happen if the G virus got out? I don't know. It'd be complete anarchy, even though it sort of is anyway. Anyway, the return of some of my favourite creatures in the game crows. God, I love them. She looks like a barbarian with all those, like, ragged toes and stuff. She does a bit. My name is Uku. I want your blood. But not really. Bloody- Ah! I hate them! Ah! Uh, boom! Boom! Nice. Boom! Boom! Oh, I'm out of the salt shotgun ammo. Oh well. Handgun time! Handgun time! Let's use our new toy! So do you have the Samurai Edge at all, or is it just, this is taking its place? The first handgun. Well, each character has their own specific, like, handgun. Apart from some oh. of them, just all have the Samurai Edge. Oh yeah, I just had that handy, because everyone carries one of them around. Yes. In fact, I have it right now. Oh look, I'm slightly closer to my computer. What? <laughs> It's like, what are you going on about? In other words, I just used my crazy ass claw gun to inch myself about two centimeters closer to my computer. Because I always had, I always handily have my claw gun around. No, she actually got the claw gun from Wesker. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Uh, oh well, that ruined it. Sorry. I should boom, tell boom. You sooner, but no. Now, how does she do this when her legs are bloody broken? Look yeah, at she, that! Yeah. That's ridiculous. God, it's raining outside. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, it's been raining all day like crazy rain. Because we live in Britain, the home of wetness. The home of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> it's JLC. Oh, Canada. Oh no, he's trying to eat you. Anyway, we're gonna end it there. We'll see you next time for part 30. Goodbye. Oh.